question. So at this time of year, you might be starting to think about what kind of cakes you can make for Halloween. So I thought I would use this week's tutorial to make a cake which you can use for Halloween or you could just use for a birthday. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make this cartoon monster cake. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to need in order to make my monster cake are my cakes. Now I've just baked two cakes and these ones measure seven inches by nine and a half inches and I've got two of those. I've then created a template for my monster. Now this one is just slightly over seven inches so I'm going to use the offcuts to make up his hands. We've then got a circle for his eyes and the shape of his mouth. So I'm going to cut this out. Now I will put a link in the description below where you can download this template so you can cut it out for yourself. So now I've got all the pieces of my template. I'm going to start by cutting out the shape of my cake. Just using a knife, just cut around the edge on both pieces. Now I'm going to add his arms back in with some of the offcuts. But first of all, I'm going to start to fill and stack my cakes. I've got a batch of milk chocolate ganache. Now I'm just going to pop this in the center of my cake and just start layering two pieces together. Now using my template, I'm just going to take some of the offcuts and just cut out the part of his arms that are missing and just glue those into place with some chocolate ganache and do the same on the other side. Now, once we've got the starting shape, I just want it slightly softer on the edges. So I'm just gonna go back in with my serrated knife and just trim off around the edge, just holding the knife at a slight angle. Now, I'm also just cutting a slight top part off of his legs and his arms, just so they're slightly lower than the rest of his body. The next thing to do is use the templates of his mouth and the eye. Now I'm gonna have his two eyes quite wide apart at the top and just have his mouth quite close to his eyes. So just cut in slightly. I'm just gonna remove some of that cake so we get an indent where we can add our fondant details and do exactly the same for his eyes. So I'm just going in at a slight angle, just removing some of that cake. I'm just gonna go in with that chocolate ganache and just put a crumb coat all the way over the top. So this is just gonna hold the whole thing together and just lock in any of those loose crumbs. Now, just to smooth that off, I've just cut a small rectangle from a piece of plastic and just curved the corners round. And I'm just gonna go over the top smoothing out that surface. So once the cake has had its initial crumb coat, I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge just until that ganache has set so that we can add another coat in and just smooth that out. Okay, so whilst that's in the fridge, I'm just gonna cover my cake board. Now I've just got a 13 inch drum board here and this one just measures a centimeter in height. Now I've got some pre-colored black fondant. Now I'm just using the Renshaw Jet Black and I'm just gonna roll this out until it it's large enough to cover my board. I'm then gonna just add some water to my board to make that fondant stick and trim off any excess around the edge. I can then just pop on a satin black ribbon around the edge to finish it off. So now I've just removed my monster from the fridge. I'm gonna go in with another layer of ganache just to smooth this over so that it's a nice base for our fondant. Once you're happy with how that's looking, I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge for around 10 minutes just for that outer coating of ganache to firm up slightly so we can cover it in our fondant. So now that ganache has firmed up, I've just put some water and mixed it with some icing sugar, paste that all the way over the top just so that my fondant will stick. Now for the fondant, I'm just using a pre-colored pastel green by Renshaw. I'm just gonna roll it out so it's large enough to cover the entire surface and the sides of the cake. Now I'm just gonna pull that fondant up and just push it around where his legs are and also his arms and then into where his mouth is and those eye sockets that we've made. You then wanna just go around the outside just with a sharp knife and just trim off any excess. And then I'm gonna go in with a knife just to neaten up that bottom edge. Now that's covered, I'm just gonna go in with my Dresden tool 
then just highlight some areas where his arms would be and just across front of his legs push down slightly just so we get it slightly lower on his legs and again the same for his arms once that's done we're now ready to add some color so I'm gonna go in with my airbrush now if you haven't got an airbrush you can just use edible petal dust in a darker green but I'm gonna be using the green from chroma colors just add that color around the edge and I've just brought that color slightly up onto the top I'm gonna go into the inside of his eyes so that when we put the eyeballs in there you will just get a slightly darker shade of green coming out from the edge so there we have our monster so far now the next thing I'm going to do is start working on his eyes for his eyeball I'm going to start with a ball of white fondant now this ball is around an inch and a half in diameter and it's just the same size as the socket that we've created now I don't want it to be too bulbous coming out so I'm going to chop this directly in half and this is going to give me two identical eyeballs so I'm just going to flatten that down slightly now I'm just going to use some of that green fondant just to create a small eyelid roll that out till we get it quite thin and just chop that in half now with the straight edges I'm just going to use this as the bottom of the eyelid apply a small amount of edible glue go in with a knife and just trim that edge off there's no excess I'm going to do exactly the same to the second one I'm then going to add the pupils in the middle so I've just got a small amount of black and some white I'm going to keep his eyes quite simple just because I want them to look quite cartoony use a circle plunger cutter so this one just measures just over a centimeter and cut out two of those and just pop those on the center of my eyes with edible glue I can then do exactly the same with a small amount of white again just going to use a plunger cutter but this one is just slightly smaller just over half a centimeter pop those on to the eye I can then take a really tiny ball of white and just push that in to the bottom corner so it looks like a light spot so I'm just gonna bring back in my cake and pop those into place just pushing down slightly to secure those in the holes that we made to the top of his eyes I'm just going to add some extra fondant which is going to be like his eye sockets so I've just mixed some of my lighter green with a Lincoln green from Renshaw just to give me a slightly closer shade to the color that we airbrushed take a ball of fondant which is just over a centimeter in diameter start to roll that out and taper down the edges I'm then gonna flatten that down with my finger and just pull this into place. So, and I'm gonna do the exact same on the other one. Match. So this one is slightly longer, so I'm just gonna trim off a small amount with my knife and just tuck that in. And there we have his eyes. Now I'm just gonna add some circles onto his body. So these are just gonna look like the texture of his skin or some scales. Pull out my dark green fondant so it's really thin. I can then go in with the circle cutters that I used for his eyes and just cut out some round discs. So we have the first three. And I'm also gonna pop some on the top of his head. So there we have these scales just on the top and bottom corners so the next thing to do is work on his mouth for his mouth I've just got some black fondant some red fondant and some white so roll the black fondant out until it's around a millimeter in thickness I'm just going to trim it down so it's slightly smaller now I want it to sit inside so the straight line is going to run along the top and then I'm just going to push it into place and use my craft knife just to trim that down. Now I don't want to go through to the green fondant below while I'm trimming it down so I'm just cutting really lightly. I'm completely happy with how that's looking. Pull back edge and just pop some edible glue just 
underneath to hold it in place. For his tongue, I've just got a small amount of red fondant. Roll that into a ball and just flatten that down. Trim that down with my craft knife. So we've got a straight edge on one side. I can then go in with my dressing tool and I'm gonna place that inside of my mouth. I've just got a really small amount of black edible dust. Pop that onto a fluffy brush and just come up from the back of his tongue. So it looks like some shadow. Now the last thing I'm going to do for his mouth is just add in two fangs at the top. So I've just got a small ball of fondant which is around a centimeter in diameter and I'm going to split this in to two. I'm then going to roll this in the palm of my hand and just taper down one side, flatten this down, trim off the top just to give me a flat edge. Pop on a small amount of edible glue and I'm gonna push that into place so that it's actually on the green section coming over now. And the same on the other side. I'm gonna bring my board back in and I'm just gonna pop a small amount of that chocolate ganache in the center. Now, when I take my cake off the board, because we had to build up his arm area, this is where I'm gonna pop my two spatulas and I'm gonna pop that into place finish off my monster I'm just going to add two horns to the top so I've got some orange fondant and I'm going to roll out two balls which are around an inch in diameter use the palm of my hands just to taper these down on one side now I'm just going to take a knife and just trim them down so they're just over an inch in length now just to hold this in place I'm just going to push a cocktail stick just into my horn and just pop this into my cake, just so it will hold it in place. So here we have the finished cartoon style monster cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will enjoy making your own version of this cake, whether it be for Halloween or a birthday. If you have enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then don't forget you can subscribe to the Cake Spanners YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button, and this will just alert you every time a video is uploaded. So until next time, bye.